welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. 726 here in Harrison, Arkansas. I'm trying to throw you off every time. Well, you do. You Just your presence here throws me off. Does it? Yeah, I get a little stutter thing going on. Yeah, I do. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? All right. I see pictures on Facebook. You've moved into your home and... We had a family picture made out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think I told you. What? Include, uh, the, include the house in the photo? I, well, you know, we're going to die there. So it's just <laughs> You're like, not moving again. We are not moving again. Yeah, I've had that, I've had that conversation Not going to happen. Yeah. So well, you've, you've got so many acres and you're filling it with animals and... We are going to get us some cows. 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 And then we'll see what happens hmm. next spring with what we'll Do add to that. emus and some camels and know. different things. Huh? I don't know at all. Mm -hmm. Right now it's just mm -hmm. cows. Yeah. Just a few. Kind of, you know, get our feet wet. Okay. Yeah. You're going to just, are they pet cows? Or are you going to No, but the them guy, that Richard or? ordered them, and he said, well, they're going to be, like, just weaned. So he was going to keep them a couple of days because he said they'd cry. They what? Cry for their moments, oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And I, I, I don't want any part of that. I don't want any crying going on with a lot of cows and stuff, especially when we're going to sell them back to him. Well, how so. do you know they're crying? They don't, they don't whimper. <laughs> Just, what do they do, Dan? They just, Bleh. Okay, I don't want that? any Bleh going on in my house either. <laughs> just second. Well. I don't want you to come to my house and go, Bleh, either. We just laugh at them, you know, like. I can't. It's not going to help you any, just. My my youngest son <laughs> and I will be the ones that will get attached to the little things. I'm you afraid. cannot, if you're going to have farm animals, you can't no, get attached to that's them. That's what I hear. You'll have, how many acres you got, 30? You'll have 30-some acres of, of just pets, so you can't do that. Okay. And it'll be a very expensive proposition. I'll do my Our best. chickens have become expensive all of a sudden. Are they your pets? The, no. Oh, okay. No, they won't lay eggs. They've stopped laying <gasps> eggs. How dare they? Yeah, and we've got like 10, and 10 chickens. So what's the point? Uh, the point is they become plate food if they don't start producing more. Did you tell them that? I, 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 gave, them a, I gave them a, a little discussion the other day. And they said what? But you know, it was when they were, it's when they were roosting. So, you know, when, when chickens roost, they don't really pay attention all that much. They just, they just sit there and, and, roost, and roost and they're in a trance. So I don't know if they understood what I was telling them. Probably not, but we'll but. see. You can let, you can keep us up to date on <laughs> I'll that. keep you up to date on that. Right. We're going into the uh, Christmas holiday season of I, I think I think but it went from Halloween to Christmas all of a sudden. I know. Yeah. So have you have you thought about it? I I really have a hard time with Christmas, with the whole gift buying I thing. Know you I, do. I just really just uh, it's just like going to get a root canal or something. You just, just want like to it. get together. I just I like Thanksgiving. I like to get together and eat and lounge around and watch football. Christmas is not that way. You got to work at it. And you got to you know it's. Ugh. And sometimes it's very hectic. Which yeah. takes away from some of the things you want Christmas to be about. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, I, I understand. Well, I'll you know what? trudge through okay. another year, I'm sure I guess. I'm sure you will. You got some great plays coming up at the Lyric. Uh, going into a, a couple, are uh, going to be out actually starting this Thursday. I think Vivi's going to talk about it. She's going to be on the show. She's the operations director of the Lyric Theater. She's going to be talking about uh, some things that are happening at the Lyric. Got some extra shows going on that uh, you probably don't know about, too. We'll talk about probably. that Probably. I, I was going to talk about it, but I've noticed that she was here, so I'll wait. I'll wait for you that. You probably should wait. Which, so, yeah, let's go. Since we have started on our lineup backwards, <laughs> but we'll, we'll jump back up to the top. We have Jane Adair and Kathy Wilburn here with the 20th Century mm -hmm. Club to talk about Lights of Love, an annual event that... Um, it's a very, very nice event if you've ever participated. And if you haven't, you should. John Burnside is here with the Claude Parrish Institute. And he is they are selling annually Christmas ornaments. So he will talk with us more about mm -hmm. that. We also have Mark Wofford from Liberty National Life Insurance here. I said it wrong, didn't I? No, you didn't. Okay, I'm always oh, that's paranoid. Right. Becca McFarland is here from Shelby's to talk about holiday gift buying. And as Dan mentioned, Vivi Allen is here with the, she's the operations director of the Lyric. And she will talk mm -hmm. to us about upcoming productions. Mm -hmm. We are going to go to break. And when we return, we will have Jane Adair and Kathy Wilburn stay with us.